Okay, Assalamualaikum chapter, chapter 8 pula Okay So, daripada Dia jumpa siapa tadi? Dia jumpa Bau Okay Yang jual bunga tu uh, So, dia nak pergi dekat temple Quail Dia nak jumpa apa? Uh, nak jumpa Headmong Okay Dawan steps into the quiet of the temple Dia masuk Okay, masa tu suasana dekat temple Ataupun quail tu sangat sunyi Uh, lepas dia bawa lotus bud Yang dia dapat Dia uh, Bau yang penjual tadi Dia offer dua benda kan Satu lepaskan burung bipit Satu lotus bud Dia ambil lotus bud Dia tak ambil yang burung Sebab tak ambil kesempatan dekat bau So she leaves her shoes outside the doorway Dia buka uh, kasut Does the loose dirt of her feet uh, Bagi tak mau ada dia Macam apa dia buang debu kat kaki dia Straighten her blouse Dia straightkan dia punya baju dengan kain Bentukan kain Dan dia masukkan uh, Dia masuk ke dalam kuil tu So time tu dalam time dia masuk tu adalah Dua baris uh, Dia pertengah dia lah Dia pertengah semayang dia pol lah okay? uh, Ada dua baris uh, Sami dengan beberapa orang kampung Yang tengah duduk semayang lah So Dawan uh, dia buat apa yang patut lah Dia cakap semayang sunat depa lah. Semayang sunat depa Lepas tu dia letak lah Lotus tu tadi dalam satu bekas yang besar Dekat altar-altar ni macam Tempat semayang depa lah Okay Dekat mimbar depa She waits for the head uh, abbot to finish reading the scriptures And the monks have left before she, she approaches him Dia tunggu semua habis Baru dia uh, pergi kat dia Dia pergi dekat head monk Ketua Sami tadi She waits for him in the courtyard Dia, dia tunggu dekat laman uh, depan Dawan feels relaxed in the open courtyard She looks at the flocks of doves Packing at the crumbs scattered to them by the monks Dia rasa relax dekat halaman luar tu Sebab dia duduk, uh, duduk tengok apa uh, Sekumpulan burung berpati duduk makan di, uh, Makanan yang uh, Sambil-sambil lain duduk bagi She whistles loudly and spiritedly Until she realizes she is alone in the courtyard Dia whistle, whistle Dia macam menyanyi whistle tu lah Uh, dia uh, Tiba-tiba Sampai lah Dia pasal Oh dia sorang-sorang Then she stops Whistling And sighs softly Sigh ni macam mengeluh The head mong smile Sigh memes Is to why she changes Her mood so easily Head mong duk party dia The head mong kata uh, Head mong senyum Head mong kata Kenapa Dia boleh berubah mood Dengan senang So when Dawa mentions That birds are meant To be free To fly far and wide Dia Bagi tahu Uh, dekat mong tu sebab Yelah burung ni boleh terbang jujur Free kan Tak rasa macam dia lah dia nak kata tu The head mong ask where she wants to fly to So head mong tanya lah nak pergi mana Nak pergi mana-mana ke She blurts out that it is the city school and experience situation So dia habis A sampai Z Dia dapat scholarship, dia dapat beasiswa apa semua lah So he indicates that he has heard everything About the scholarship from the teacher Dia habis dia dah dengar everything Semua benda tu daripada teacher cikgu tu And uh, as the cage door for Dawan is open, she is free to fly away. Ha. So, dah baca dah dapat tu, nak pipi lah. Tapi, dia kata, uh, dia tak pujuk Dawan. Dia tak kata, okay, tak apa, nanti aku tolong uh, support hang, aku tolong sembang ayah hang, tak. Dia kata, uh, dia rasa macam dia tak boleh tolong. Okay? Dan dia rasa macam, dia tak sokong lah sebenarnya Dawan ni nak pergi ha, Itulah contoh dia So Dawan is disappointed, uh, is disappointed Dia kecewa and leaves the temple with a heavy heart And eyes squinting from, bitter, from bitterness Dia kecewa dan dia Keluar daripada quill tu Dengan perasaan yang sangat kecewa lah Heavy heart ni macam Aduh berat hati ni ya eh, sebab Kita expect orang tu tolong tu tak, Orang tu tak tolong kan And eyes squinting from bitterness Duk tahan Ayat mata ni nak jatuh So this is chapter 8